Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I have learned in the past six years of making videos for the Marvel Contest of Champions community that sometimes when everybody has this groupthink mantra and decides that they're going to zig and I decide to zag, that people can say, what? You're choosing to use that champion over that champion? Yep, I love using that champion and I am not good with them. Case in point, for years... I would just not be able to promote Ghost like everybody else because I was terrible with her. That didn't mean that I didn't applaud people who were great with her. But then again, I don't remember last time I saw Ghost used in Battlegrounds unless it's like some kind of very specific meta that's going to give her even more utility with converting the debuffs that temporarily appear on her. But in general, I like to discuss things that from my perspective are just different. We have the best players and the best YouTubers, no doubt, targeting seven-star rank-ups. But let's be honest. <clears throat> Even for Valiant players, it is not super easy and quick to get seven-star shirts. I get questions all the time. Prof, how do I get faster seven-star shirts? They're trying to cut corners. Kabam has not allowed the market to be dictated by that. Even if you're Valiant in Battlegrounds, you'd think by now, You'd at least get half a 7-star, but no, you have to spend way more trophy tokens, 4,000, for zero guaranteed value to get one-third of a 7-star. So you get to open, if you buy out this every week, a 7-star on average about once a month from strictly the Battleground store. Obviously, there are a lot of other places to get 7-star shirts, but Kabam is still very much protecting this uh, rarity because it is not a secret that they want most of the seven stars that they've approved to be in the seven star pool, especially the basic pool, to be champions that need to be high sig to be effective. Now, this is not always the case, but it is often the case. That's why it's much easier to see a void as available uh, as a seven star than even somebody like Black Widow Clairvoyant, who I still don't think it makes any sense that Kabam said no to her. And I think as a community, we need to take this opportunity to say, Kabam, you need to revisit that uh, essential declaration of she's going to be too good. Because even though she's one of my favorite Mystic Champs in the game, she also is not a champ that can take down uh, Battlegrounds defenders as an attacker as well as some of the other champs in her, um, well, class. And yet, Kabam, if you forgot, was it last year? Said that basically she'd be too overpowered as a 7-star. So, sorry, but they announced she would be one, and now she is not going to be one. And this is also why, if you have a 6-star Black Widow Clairvoyant, it is worth noting that that 6-star is going to hold its value for a very long time. In fact, most of these 6-stars are going to hold their value for a very long time because Kabam is so slow, and I, I'm not saying this as a criticism, to be fair. I'm saying this just as a declaration of the obvious. Kabam is being very slow to put out 7-star shards because they don't want to wreck their own economy and, yes, have to speed up into eight stars. And even saying those words makes me want to twitch because it is something that nobody should want anytime soon. It is going to be continue decline of this game if that happens. So, Kabam, I can't be the only person who decides to zag on this topic. There are going to be people who think to themselves, you know, I really don't think it's a big deal that she's not available. But if it's not a big deal, then what's the big deal in having her actually be a seven-star playable character? And she's one of the rare people that doesn't need to be awakened. So that's part of it, I think. And uh, as part of that... Uh, mantra, because that's why I was so excited to have Warlock available as a 7-star, though of course I haven't been able to pull him. Kabam just prefers to have puzzle piece champions that need three different major puzzle pieces, and really it's way more than that. 
get the champ, awaken the champ, and then Max Sig the champ. And of course, Max Sig is impossible right now with the seven star six stone market. And again, I'm not saying that as a criticism, just as an observation. Have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.